Yo, you know the vibes, man. They chilling the cut. You know, shout out to all man. We're out here, man. Come on, man. Yo, we're doing Yo, it's your kid, your interview and shit, dog. <laughs> Big movie, dog. That's, that's Uncle Spoon. Yo, that's the OGs. Gang, gang, gang. That's the OGs of it, there, dog. Yeah, the great rapper who repost my affair. Yeah, K Bands. He just repost my affair. Shout out to K Bands, man. Nah, bro, we're at Kent, Park Kent, you know, 160, big 160, man. Uptown, you know, Cote d'Inez. You know, we're out here, man. Come on, man. Of course, <laughs> yo, yo, I'm born and raised here, man. Come on, yeah, I'm out here every day, man. It's my guys, other guys are here, man. We're about to take over the music scene soon. Watch for us, man. Come on. Yeah. Yo, team, man. Yo, you know, vibes, man. 30k in two weeks, man. Come on, man. You know, we really do this, man. Come on. If you check my IG thing, I like if I check the shares fam, I got probably like 3,000 shares and that's love. The thing is like, you know, we're just young kids, you know? So like, we're actually gonna take over it. And I'm not the only one. I released the three derniers singles on the page YouTube of Six Bugs premieres. Yeah, Six Bugs, exactly. Yeah, it's just, it's just connection, you know? Like, it's just the thing is, most of my family lives in Toronto, you know? And like, so it's easy to get like, you know, like connection and, and all that. And the thing is, Six Buzz, like one of them is a, uh, what's it called? He's Ethiopian. So, you know, he hooked me up and yeah, that's it, man. It's just, we made it happen, you know? And the thing is, don't forget, I'm the first one, the first one in Montreal to be, to be put in Six Buzz, you know what I'm saying? So that's a big thing. A little cap, you know? Right. It's not really a music thing there. It's more a family thing, you know? Toronto's just more a family thing, you know? Got bear family over there. And yeah, that shit, man. And uh, how did you start rapping? How? Oh. Yo, sh Yo, shout out to my dog, Joel. You know, if Joel is watching this, you know, shout out to him, cause, hey, he was like an older brother to me. And you know, I seen him rap and stuff, you know? The only reason I wanted to rap is just cause, you know, I was basically like, he was my brother, I was also a fan. That's why I put my pride, you know, low. I was a fan, he was putting out music, and he inspired me to just put music out and stuff. So that's when I started, yeah. J'ai regardé les titres de tes chansons. Brotherhood, yeah. là tu parles de loyalty. Yeah. Ça a l'air vraiment proche d'être un gars d'entourage, de, d'être un gars d'équipe. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose qui représente beaucoup pour toi, genre... Uh, of course, of course, of course, come. I'm gonna be honest, like, that's my weakness. When it comes to brotherhood, when it comes to, like, just, like, loyalty, that's my weakness. That's, you know, like, I've been through, like, through, like, situations where, like, you know, like, I got someone that betrayed my trust, you know, like, a close brother to me, you know, and that's, that's where it hits, you know, the most, you know, so I value it, you know, I really value it because I feel like when you move as a team, you're just stronger. You know, it's the same thing. It's the same thing music-wise. When you put when you put your music out and you come from, you know, let's say uptown, you know, like when you put your music out, like the only way you can like come out is if the whole the whole district, you know, the whole 160 district, you know, put shares your music and all that. Or else, like if your own hood is not gonna listen to your music, like what makes you think like just mucha? as like as a whole will listen to music so it's always as a team as like as a unit that one matters the most but but i always make sure that my circle is small though just to be conscient you know so yeah you came in you my boy you stop my back yeah you say you gon' ride i said cap i'm on my ground baby yeah i'm on my back i stay loyal to the gang to my pack yeah oh i had a red eye lost all lost all so you gotta make it up she ain't showing no love so you gotta make it up so you What? Bro, that's my guy TP, you know what I'm saying? Yo! Yo, yo, yo! Fun, fun! That's TP. That's my dog, bro. Put your, you know, there's him, there's, what's it called? There's, there's Dimego, there's who else, man? Savani, there's Tweezy, Tweezy in a cut, my bad, man. No vibes, bro. There's Tweezy in a cut. Who else, man? Yo, who else, bro? Yo, bro, long live one done, man. One done, two, you know, one done. There's Black Kusa. Who else, huh? Buzz down. That's, you know, that's a big OG, you know, big 160. 
That's Gunna, R.I.P. Gunna. Bro, that's beer, that's beer. Yeah, but, but now I'm telling you, it's the youngest that's taking over. One shot, you know what I'm saying? You were born here? Yeah, I'm born in one shot. Yeah, I'm born and raised in Uptown Lake. Well, my first, 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 first house, but we passed it though, it was up there. Up there, you know, near Kumnaba, mm -hmm. uh, Barkley, but up, up Barkley. That's where I was born. Uh, but now I live more over there. I was born in like, Barkley up there. Then, yo, like two years later, I, I moved to NDG. And then two years, I came back here, you know, and since then, I lived in the same apartment, you know, to this day, you know, so I'm out here, yeah, uptown, yeah, born and raised in uptown. So if you do Uwe to a kid? Oh, I mean, yo, the kid part is just for the music, you know, I just put the ATO, it's more of a, like, because I remember back in the days, like, you know, when I was a kid, like, people didn't really know my name like that, so they knew I was Ethiopian, though, so let's say, I remember when I was playing at Park McKenzie, um, like people used to like, you know, like they didn't know my name and shit, and, but they knew that like I'm born in, you know, I'm born in Ethiopia. I mean, my family comes from Ethiopia, so they would say, yo, yo, the Ethiopian kid. And then it came to Ethio, you know, just Ethio, Ethio, Ethio. So I was like, yo, you know what? Like, I'm just, you know, call myself Ethio, you know? So that's not music, it's not music. It's actually here, you know, from the streets and stuff. Did you party in Ethiopia? Mm. Yeah, uh, how many times? Two times. Two times. One when I was like a kid, kid, kid. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I never five, went to my country. Oh, five, five years old. Mm -hmm. And another one, I went recently, I mean, 14, when I was 14. But I'm trying to go again, you know? Like, yo, it's like. Because I have the thing. C'est different vibe. Come, like, the lifestyle. Yo, let's go by. We're going by Barclay, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, Tu vois, comme mm. tu vois la misère, tu vois, comme, you know, et, et humbles you, you know, comme, c'est juste comme, c'est un whole different vibe. Moi, tu vois, comme, les gens, si tu vois tous ces, tu vois, les, les gens qui, qui, qui sont plus, in a way, you know, less fortunate, you know, guys are, you know, more poor here, it's nothing compared to when you go to there, you know, and you see that, and it just humbles yourself, it just yeah. makes you appreciate about life, you know, like, you see these guys, they can't afford this, this and that, you know, like, I'm gonna be honest, like when I went there, like every day, almost every day, was up, probably once or twice, power outreach. outreach. How you call it? See? When like, the electricity turns off, yeah, I come Press a shakso. Press a shakso. Back home? Yeah, yeah you press a shakso. Every day, my country is every day, bro. So, like, you gotta be thankful in life, you know? Like, yeah. Canada's a good place for us, you know? Still. Don't be ungrateful for what you gotta be you know? grateful. Still, still, you know, we're born in the hood, you know? We made a bicycle. It's this is this like if this we see right now, it's nothing. It's yo, it's nothing compared to like oh, yeah. homeland. You know, we in uh, Barclay right now. It's a whole street of Barclay till down. It's a long, long way of Barclay. More music to come soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Of course, bro. Of course, of course, man. It's just you know, like you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm the type of guy when I go to the studio. I'm not the type of guy that have a lot of music in the deck, you know? It's just like, when I feel like I have a banger, I just go to the studio, I record, and you know, I go, I post that track, you know? But I don't have, I don't like record, like, I don't go to like the studio every day, you know? Cause I'm trying to, you know, I, I'm trying to get my, you know, my money up, you know? That's also important, you know? There's more, music is more than just like, life is more than just music, you know? So, but yeah, but still, more music to come, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, no vibes, man. Ouais, je parle français, stop. <laughs> je parle français, stop, man. You know, like, like, like when I'm with my dogs, you know, like it's just like I'm used to the English, you know. Uptown is more of a, like an English than French, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. But shout out to my dog Fizzle, man. And the Fizzle on the cut, you know. You know, no vibes, man. That's another rapper, you know. That's family, man. Come on, man. That's family, man. Come on, man. But yeah. Bah, c'est pas français, c'est top. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. C'est le frère à Vouvou. C'est le frère à Vouvou, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Vouvou, man. You know the vibes. Instagram vibe, you know the vibes. Go check it out. Us? 
Like I'm telling you, like the talent we have is yo, is fam. It's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Like I feel like in the next five years, you know, I'm gonna be 19, 19 plus 19, 24. I don't know, but like most of you guys, yo, TP, how old are you? Oh, I'm 18. 18. 17. 17. So you know, it's like, like you know, we're we're the new generation. So in five years, I feel like you know. We'll be up there, you know? Mini, mini, money more. I just got a devil toe. All my trip is all froze. Pull up, pull up with my bro. Ten seconds out of yours. Yeah, man down, man down. Got me screaming, man down, man down. But I keep my head up, head up. Now I stack my bread up, bread up. Like, ooh. We feeling low, keep it with no one to shine. Like, ooh. Cause the thing is, the thing is, I'm gonna tell you right now. Like fifty percent, yo, fifty percent of my, of like, like the how you call that? You know the people that check your music. Your streams. Yes, not streams, but like just Listeners. followers. Oh my bad, Listeners. followers and all of that. Like it's from Toronto. You know things. So we know that Toronto has a big, you know, like English English music scene. You know, they're they're still up there. So if you have viewers in Toronto, best belief you're gonna have Toronto like like viewers in the state. You know, so it's like it's like that, you know, and yeah. To be honest, it's better for the the English rappers here to go to Toronto. You know, they they do the thing here. You know what I'm saying? But get connection to Toronto because it's really there where you can actually do something serious. You know what I'm saying? Here, like shout out to the French music because it's hard. You know, but when it comes to English, I feel like you gotta like go to Toronto. You know, make connection. You know, but yeah. The thing is, look, let me tell you something. Like what I see, what I see. I remember 20, 2015, 2016. I remember like, like the Toronto, the Toronto scene was not really here, you know. Like, like I remember five, six years ago, I used to listen to. No, like that's what I'm saying. Cause I'm. What are you saying, YJ? You're blessed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was the question? My bad, man. The question was, is there a similarity between the swag and the slang of Toronto and Montreal? Okay, so. The flow. So not flow. the flow. We got our inspiration from there, though. Like. But we made it. We made it our own. We're not like because we still listen to other rappers and stuff. Toronto music is Toronto based. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, I feel like four years ago, like it was just Montreal, Montreal. Like there was no really inspiration that came from Toronto. The thing is, like I said, me most of my family lives in Toronto, so I still had that Toronto wave in me, you know. Like since since uh, 2015, you know. You know, remember the track Presta was gang, was gang. I track, I track. It was not really on here, you know, when it came out. You know, it's mostly like it's two years, like two years, two years ago. It's like when the Toronto music. So, so I feel like me just. I don't know about the other, but me, I've been on the Toronto music. It's been like it's been a minute, but I feel like the last two years though. People like, are growing though still. Yeah, still. But the thing is like, the last two years, the Toronto music, like it's been bumping here, but, but. We have our own wave too, cause yeah. you know our slang to yo, yeah, bam, uptown, wave. uptown yo, 50% are like a lot of people are Jamaican here, right? Yeah, so the slang, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So the slang, so the slang is similar to to Toronto, cause Toronto there's a lot of Jamaicans, you know. So I feel like, I feel like the slang, the Toronto slang, like uptown, it didn't really copy it. It didn't really copy it, cause. Like we just got it here, you know, cause a lot we, there's a lot of Jamaicans that live here. It's English side. Exactly, it's an English, you know, it's an English hood. So, but I feel like the rest, I, f I see a lot of copycats though. Yeah. I see a lot of copycats though. I see a lot of copycats. You know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. not good. That's not good. I mean, you gotta we, get we mind our style. own business. We doing our own thing. We don't. We really chase that hate or no? We just trying to make it. To be honest, we just trying to. For everybody, we want to come up together though, for sure. Yeah, we all trying to come up together. Yeah, yeah. you know the vice, man. <laughs> Another rapper, yo, Smaggy's here. There's Dolo, you know what I'm saying? Come on, come on man. There's YG to bro. <laughs> yo, 80 percent, 80 percent of the guys here are all rappers, man. We are rappers though. All rappers, man. Come on. No, nah, for fact, nowadays we just trying to go to states. Now it's a different wave. We ain't trying to. Since 2015, everybody want to go to Toronto and make it there, but now we want to make it in Cali or something. But I feel like, yo, step by step, though, like... Yeah, that's how it goes, though. I but if you're lucky, I feel like L.A. is the spot, you know? But, like, yo, but if, if, if you want to go to the state, go directly to L.A. You know, yeah. you don't need to go this, this, this. If you if you really want to go to the states, go to L.A. directly. But yeah. if not, you go to Toronto, you know? So I'm saying... We have a big drill scene here, though. Of course, yeah. man. Nowadays, New York. New York would be... Are you going to... Drop more drill music, some drill Me? music? Me? Yeah. I'm not really a 
I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm the only. I'm we got drill. He's the drill guy. He's the drill, drill guy. This hip. This hip. This quit ass man. Like yo, but me, I, I don't, I don't know. It's not really. I don't. I'm, we don't like, gotta lie. It's nah. most here is drill and just rap music. But melodic shit, I'm trying to bring it all. All my niggas smoke all of them. The hood trying to bring the melodic too. shit too. Yeah, yeah, stop. Trying to put it in the hood, the melodic shit, <laughs> the true story <laughs> so, songs, and all of that factual yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Any Come last words, guys? Shout out to Owens MTL. Shout out to Owens MTL, man. Welcome to the neighborhood. Come on, man. You don't know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying? Welcome to the neighborhood. But yo, I'm gonna show you around later on. You know, I'm gonna show you around, but now we're just gonna chill. But the thing is, bro, uptown on our map, bro. Best head in Montreal. You don't know what I'm bro. We're up there, man. Come on, man. Slap, man. Slap. Me and my niggas be sliding, ayy, none of y'all niggas ain't riding, ayy All these new niggas won't be for they came up, pull up the ass, it's hiding She had it behind the computers, she riding me just like a scooter I'm fucking that bitch on the back and I'm spinning her legs She was a room, now I'm vibing And she done like a shawty, like I'm wildin' And she done on the night, she be crying And tell me why the hoes be lying for, be lying for Now I'm vibing and she look like a shot like a wildin' And she don't wanna lie, she be crying. And tell me why the hoes be lying for me lying for hey, Tell me how you feel You see me out in the streets now nah, Postin' up with a real nah, And the corner said a we nah, nah, nah Two drivers, I'm sick. Yo, the track. Crazy you see the drivers. track? Crazy drivers. You see? I'm not saying this is an infinity, bro. Bow! Just for the video shoot, they did this because I did that. I called it two stars for her, la. Two stars! So many tickets. Two stars! Hey, that's a chiller. I'm going to see what I'm playing. It's not for you. It's not playing, bro. They pay like half of this and they have this now left. Yeah. 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 You came here, you my boy, you my oh, yeah. You say you won't ride, I said cap. I'm on my grind, baby, yeah, I'm on my back. I stay loyal to the gang, in my pack. Yeah, oh, yeah. So it is, man. It's big 160, man. Come on. Up next. Sambo, the other hands, you know? It's so. No advice, man. Come on, man. So, as a chill. Yo, it's your first time uptown, eh? Bash, bash, bash. Mm. How it is, man? How's it going? It's perfect, man. Cross zoom, son, Nick, too, ici. Bash, man. Vas-y, vas-y, vas-y. You know, you know. Yo, you know, c'est lui le gars sur World Star? In the first video, yeah. I call him the camera. You got that camera? <laughs> yeah. Yo, you good? Yeah, bro. It's the show, come in, man. Yeah, it's the show, bro. <laughs> so I had one leg in, and they were moving at the same time. So, so like, speed up. So like, I had to, um, yeah. so I had to jump out before, like, yo, they break my leg, you know? Yeah. So, uh, so that shit like I'm a boss, bro. <laughs> I'm chilling on map, man. Anyways, we're there, right there, and then we're just shooting a video, and then. We hear people screaming, like you know, it's room, 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 room. My room brother. Screaming. Yeah. And then everyone just like checks, and there's also what is it called, Ziad? You know Ziad? Yeah. He checked it out. He's like, Yo, what's going on? And then we all checked, and we see, Boom. we see him in the ground. He's numb. <laughs> Here. Yeah. And we're like, Yo, like, like you're good? He's like, Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it was here where you fall. So you know what I'm saying? This is a uh, world star. Let's do it. World star. C'est le début de lettre. Mm -hmm. C'est pour le nom de la de la. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like G block, G block, that's Goyer. Okay. G block, c'est c'est comme Goyer. 
Et puis Block, c'est plein mon dos. Then we go on to M Block, which is Mendel, and then some Mendel and Block. Il y a des gros rappeurs qui ont repose mon affaire. Il y a K Bands, il a déjà repose mon affaire. Shout out to K Bands, man. Shout out. Shout out to. I have people these. Shout out to YTS, J Pop. Shout out to comment ça s'appelle. Easy S, il a aussi chez mon Slime Talk. Je suis resté surpris, you know. La chez Slime Talk. Il y a des gros rappeurs qui ont chez mon affaire du à Montréal. Respect à tous eux. Est-ce que tu trouves qu'il y a beaucoup de rappeurs qui capent à Montréal? Yeah, 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 a lot, a lot. Come on, why? A lot. It's not like that, but me, my. I'm gonna speak about me. What I speak is what I live, but I don't really talk about what is happening. But then people really like cap, like say they catch somebody and just smack them. They say, "Oh, we we got him doing this." We got like you know something like we witnessed, we seen it, but it's like in the songs, like something like, "Come on, bro, you can't be doing it." But we don't really care because they know what we rap about, you know. But it's the thing is, especially about us, see, like the whole industry, the whole rap industry, it's come, it's fake. Tu comprends? Like everything is fake these days. Like you know, like. Honnêtement, le truc qui est plus fake, c'est que les gens disent qu'ils they belong to the street, but they never grown there. Or some people just they never did nothing. You said that you're gonna shoot on the on the block and everything. They never got their stripes. Nothing. They never belong here. Basically, actors. Me, I used to go. I used to go to Celeron High School. I was living in Victoria, so it's like it's like in CV, right? And now when I stopped going to that school, so I came back, start chilling and make songs here, right? So people be saying, oh, like rapping about, I ain't gonna lie, some people did rap about me, be talking about like, oh, how this guy never knew these people. Ever. But I used to come see him every time, you know, but I don't really like, and this in internet is dangerous, but I never really show it, you know? Internet is really dangerous. Do I'm an in-person nigga, you know? Do you think that a rapper now has to really rap about the street stuff to be like validated no no like his hood as que tu as besoin de ça comme 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 what do you mean actually the best you have to talk about your music what do you mean if your music's good it's good man if your music's good it's good what do you about this est-ce que dans ton message you have to talk about the street stuff no you have to talk the factual stuff not about the streets killing niggas and all that talk about the factual shit that's how you win because you're a factual person the facts bro we don't rap Cap, it's just facts. Five people is Kepsi The most ghetto Kepsi in Montreal, bro. Oh, God. Ici, oh, God. back then, avant ça serait un condo, c'était un dépanneur que comme tous les comme ben c'est pas, je pense pas que lui était là. Comme back, back, back then, mais comme il y avait, il y avait des, il yeah, yeah, y avait back then comme oh, like OG back then. Il y a pas, il y a pas ce condo que je Non, non, il y avait des panneurs. Ouais, il y avait pas condo. Non, 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 mais like des panneurs. Back then, bro, c'était un big history. Des gars, même. Big history. Des gars, il y a tout le monde, tous les big OG. Dis-nous un histoire parce que lui, c'est lui le. Ouais, c'est lui. Un histoire ici. C'est quoi le pas le plus fou qui est arrivé? Shit, dis, dis, il y a eu tellement de shit qui est fucked up ici. Ici c'est comme au début, au début ici c'était Jamaïcain, Haïtien contre Africain là. <rire> Trois races négro qui veulent avoir le territoire. Non. Puis à la fin c'est comme... C'est un Jamaïcain qui a mis tout le monde une piste là. Comme, yo, puis paix à son âme, son nom c'est Killa Ghost. Rest in peace Killa Ghost. That's the reason when R.I.P. Ghana, you know, done. RP done. one done, a lot of people we lost. Well, yo, we're still doing it for them, yo. Those in the future is right here. Yeah, sure. They're not gonna stop. We're there to defend them. You know what's Metro Plamontor, man? That's my Metro. There's a lot of shit happening inside the Metro. Oh, yeah. A lot of shit happening. A lot of, a lot of stuff. This is the ancien Defender. When we saw that here, we knew the world of Hood that was there. On faisait juste jump sur le gazon, puis on était sur un terrain privé, sur la police pouvait rien faire. Ils attendaient qu'on sorte de là pour après nous catch. C'était vraiment fou. Là. Pour des affaires bidons, yo. Il y a eu beaucoup de violences policières ici. C'est comme, c'est pas pour rien aussi. C'est pas comme, tu sais, les plus vieux vont rapper, puis ils vont parler de comme, ils vont parler de, actually de ce qui, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont vécu, qu'est-ce qu'ils ont grandi. Puis c'est comme L'autorité a vraiment pas aidé dans la situation parce que avec leur brutalité policière, ça a juste enragé plus les jeunes, ça nous a enragé plus. So, ça a toujours été comme une rébellion. Mm -hmm. Puis même à ça, il y a aussi des policiers big time corrompus, comme ce, ce, ce gars appelé Fischel qui a été acquitté de toutes ses charges. Or que tu sais, il a fait euh, des, des, des petites femmes ici danser, il a fait plein d'affaires. Mm -hmm. 
Il a fait des gens qui n'avaient pas de papiers travailler pour lui. Il a fait des affaires vraiment graves. Puis ils l'ont arrêté, puis ils l'ont acquitté toutes ses charges. Le genre de tu, ça, c'est quel, quel genre d'exemple que tu veux montrer aux, comme, aux jeunes immigrants, tu sais, comme... C'est fucké. Fait que je peux comprendre pourquoi la génération, pour se démontrer, ils vont... Le monde va penser toujours qu'ils parlent de gang de rue ou whatever, mais en fait, c'est comme... C'est quoi une gang pour de vrai Parce que à, à ce que je sache, depuis qu'on est trois, ils disent déjà on est une gang. Fait que c'est quoi Ils veulent juste pas qu'on se tienne ensemble, mais quand on se tient pas ensemble, c'est là où ce qu'ils font leur abus de pouvoir. Ils en ont fait beaucoup. Je connais des amis qui ont été tirés par la police. Quoi Comme le gars il sortait de sa mosquée, le, 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 comme la, la prière de 6h du matin. Mm -hmm. Il sort de la mosquée, le même policier que je vous dis, son partenaire s'appelle Baudry, puis il l'a tiré directement dans le chest. Mm. Parce qu'il disait qu'il avait un couteau, mais qui qui va à la mosquée avec un couteau De un, je vois pas c'est qui, puis de deux, je pense qu'on vous a donné des entraînements pour être capable de désarmer une personne. Ouais, tu peux pas puis vous avez plein euh... d'outils avant de... Le gars, yo, tout ce que ouais. je sais, c'est qu'au moins il a fait sa dernière prière avant de partir, ça j'imagine. Oh, il est mort, oui. Ouais, il est mort, là. Après ça, on, les a... on a poursuivi la police. Pendant plusieurs étés, on a fait des manifestations. Je sais même pas comment ça finit. Tout d'un coup, c'est comme, je pense après cinq ans, ça, je, je sais pas, ils ont proposé de l'argent à la famille à un moment donné, mais normalement à chaque été, tous les, les Arabes, Renois, ben, tous les immigrants de Côte de Neige, on se rassemblait puis on faisait une révolution parce que il n'y a rien eu, comme il n'y a jamais eu de résultat à ça. Puis ça arrive souvent à Côte de Neige. Ça arrive souvent à Côte de Neige que quelqu'un disparaît puis tu sais même pas. Mmh. Puis là, tu apprends, oh, cette personne est morte, mais tu es comme, pourquoi c'est pas passé aux nouvelles Il y a plein de trucs qui. Ouais. Ça fait peur. Moi, personnellement, ça fait peur. C'est comme, j'ai grandi ici, puis en grandissant ici, je dis que c'est. C'est quelque chose. C'est quelque chose. C'est peut-être pas le Far West comme d'autres places, mais c'est quelque chose vu à comment l'autorité bouge, comment ils. Tu ils aident pas ton mental. Mmh. Fait que tu es, es renfermé, tu as un choice issue, tu sais plus comment réagir. Tu, tu, tu dois juste te tenir avec ta troupe, tu, tu sens l'obligation de te tenir en groupe parce que tout seul, ils viennent te pogner. So, mmh. Mais il y a beaucoup de monde qui sont décédés, puis à leur âme, puis le monde, ils savent même pas qu'ils qu sont gone, là. C'est fou. C'est là où on a shot uh, Slime Talk. Slime Talk, c'est ici. Ici. Là-bas aussi. On est quel coin de rue là en ce moment Là on est à Bakli puis le mieux. So, moi je vis à le mieux haut là-bas. C'est quoi tu penses l'importance maintenant des médias de promouvoir les artistes et tout Est-ce que tu penses que c'est important Est-ce que ça joue un rôle ouais, nécessaire Ouais, of course, of course, c'est ça. Comme moi je comprends, moi je vous comprends les 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 bails pour vous prendre. Je comprends que vous devez faire votre argent, you know. Ça, comme on doit vous payer pour faire promo. Mais parfois, c'est comme, quand vous voyez du talent, comme, juste postez-le. Vous voyez du talent, you know, c'est postez-le. Mais c'est juste, si c'est pour faire de votre business, c'est juste pour, you know, ça. Mais si vous voyez du talent, comme, on n'a pas besoin de toujours payer. Tu n'as pas besoin d'exploiter, you know. Tu vois du talent, c'est ta ville. Oublie pas, c'est ta ville. Tu me poses, c'est juste, c'est comme ça, bon. C'est pas comme ça, bon. Pour nous, bon, moi, je c'est comme, You know, c'est avec du love. Ben oui, exactement, c'est ça. Share pour share, c'est facile. Là. Yo, pourquoi tu. Yo, you see in ATL, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Comme. Pourquoi les gens bombent Pourquoi on se tient All together. Ça va, c'est fun. Walk, walk, bro. Yo, we're yo, doing... it's your kid, yo, interview, and shit, da. <laughs> Big movie, da. That's, that's Uncle Sponge. Yo, that's that's the OGs. Gang, 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 gang. That's the OGs of a dear, da. Since day one, the, the original Dandara. <laughs> Shout out to Onze and Tia for real. They represent all for Montreal. Yo, the guy, the guy from, how do you call it? The the promos. Shout out to, how do you call it? Big shout out to MTL Leaders. Big shout out to MTL Leaders. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to MTL Leaders. Since this 10k view followers they had, till now they they really showed yeah. that love. Big shout out. He never tried to come. He never tried to come. He just. Mm -hmm. Il rentre dans mes... You know? 
Big shout out. He actually texts me that I'm doing good. You know, that's why I fuck with MTL leaders. They're actually real. Big shout out to MTL leaders for real. Very real. Uptown KFC, Uptown KFC. The most, again, the most kiddos KFC in my child. Yeah, Oh, you know the vibes, man. It's H.O. in the cut. H.O. kid, man. Big shout out to all MTL, man. We live, man. Wow. Slap. Welcome to the neighborhood. Wow. <laughs> you already know your fist squad 160. You already know gang, gang, gang. We out here up top yeah. for life. <laughs>